What's up, Sand Army? Back in the gym, push workout. Goal today, 110s, four sets of eight on the incline dumbbell bench press. Reason why I switched from barbell to dumbbell is because I just feel it in my chest a lot more. So at the end of the day, I like barbell better because you can obviously push more and bench more, it looks better but dumbbell just feels a lot better in my chest as far as aesthetics and muscular feelings go. That's how we're gonna grow the thigh upper chest. Gift for bearded piccolo. Come here, Woo! Oh, you gotta hit him with the- Look like Mr. Satan. Oh, the, <laughs> the um, beam, spectro beam. So like tri-beam, no, it's not tri-beam. No, it's tri beam, beam is cannon. It's something beam Plasma cannon. Plasma beam cannon? That's not beam cannon, actually. Special beam cannon. Uh, it is special. So we got Black Broly in the house. <laughs> Rocking. I don't think I got that tank. You don't get this one? Uh, I Vegeta, what, what's Vegeta's Vegeta's father's one. Name? one. This is his father's. His father's oh. Vegeta? Oh yeah, Prince Vegeta. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Roshi in that building. That's the Roshi. And we got... EHP shorts. Nah. I figured I'd just get you large. Nice. Thank you. So right now this is behind the scenes of a viral Instagram video in the making. Viral. Shit's going viral. We're speaking it. Then let's find somewhere to set it down. Anybody got to stand? One shot. Just one shot. And they're going to pop up and just like. So you're going to just hold the bar like you're about to lift off. You want me to pause right here for a little bit? Or do you want me to just be like... So tell me when to run back then, or is he just gonna pause on his chest? Fine. So after no, pause no, from behind you, you're gonna need to lift up. You're like, hurry up, late guys, gonna tap him, and then he's gonna walk away, and then you're gonna. Oh, walk okay, it's like yeah. tag team. Also, like, oh, so I thought he was gonna lift it off. Like, do this, do this, do this. Like, sorry, I'm late, guys. <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm late, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready, Matt. Uh, on his left. Uh, left side? Yes. Yeah. So like right here? Yeah, keep get closer. There, there you go. Right here? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late, guys. <laughs> you gotta bring your wireless mic. Alright, come on. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. You gotta go again. Okay. I'm showing you. Sorry, I'm late, guys. All right, come on. All right, all warmed up. So starting off this workout with incline dumbbell bench press. So I switched from incline barbell bench press to incline dumbbell. Reason being is, it just feels better on my chest. Like I noticed, I just feels a lot better for myself. So at the end of the day, just do whatever feels best for you. Although I can't push as much weight, I feel it a lot more in my chesticles and hopefully that equal more gains in the breasticles. <laughs> yeah, second thing I want to talk about was elbow sleeves. Someone commented that, oh, because I train it so it's such high volume that I have to use elbow sleeves when I lift and no, that's not the thing. I train with elbow sleeves because my tricep tendonitis acts up here and there and even tricep tendonitis wasn't from the volume. I got it from doing stupid skull crushers um, when I was younger. That's why I don't really recommend skull crushers, especially if you feel in your elbows. I've noticed that maybe 5% of the people I talk to actually don't get, um, their elbows don't get irritated when they do tricep, um, when they do like any type of skull crusher type movement. Where I feel it the most in my joints is doing heavy weight. It's not even the volume that I do, it's the heavy weight that really puts takes a toll on my joints personally. So that's why I use elbow sleeves and they help me push a little bit more. So let's get it. Roshi, first day at it. There you go, better.
So something I want to talk about is composure when lifting. And I don't see a lot of people talking about composure when you're lifting, but when you lift, like I see a lot of people, they just go at it and just like rah, 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 rah. They, they, they're not thinking about their form, they're not thinking about anything but getting the weight up. Now, there's a time and place for that kind of lifting. You know, you're trying to go for a one rep max, you're at a power lifting meet, that kind of thing. But when you're here, you're just trying to hit sets of eight, keep yourself composed. For me, when, I, when I'm lifting, I'm trying to keep everything nice and tight and just keep a good, just a good rhythm going, you know? Take a deep breath at the top, push it through, exhale at the top, take a deep breath, and just have a nice composure, feel your chest go in, feel everything just nice and tight. I got my feet digging through the ground, I got my back nice and tight, I'm retracting into the bench, I'm pushing myself deep into that bench, trying to get nice and tight so I'm not sliding all, all around the bench. And just find that rhythm and stay composed when you lift. Always think about what you're doing and always keep a nice, nice rhythm going. It'll keep you, one, it'll keep your form on point. Two, you'll probably get better muscle hypertrophy because your form's on point as well because of your composure. And three, you're just gonna stay away from injuries. Next exercise, behind the neck, shoulder press. Now for this exercise, the reason why I changed it to behind the neck is because it isolates the ladder head a little bit more. Yes, it can be a little bit more dangerous if you have shit mobility or you have bad form just like anything else you can snap your shit up but the key is having proper mobility and doing proper form with this exercise so for me i really like this exercise because um for doing like the spirit whenever i do heavy incline pressing mixed with heavy overhead pressing i my shoulder impingement tends to come back and yes that's a problem where i could I'd have to stretch a lot more foam roll and that kind of stuff but I notice I always get lazy and don't do that so that's why I switched to behind the neck press isolate that lateral head and I'm keeping it a little bit lighter I'm going to keep the rep range anywhere from 6 to 10 to maybe even 15 some days and just really focus on growing that lateral head as I don't need any more anterior delt action so even for this exercise I like to take a little wider grip obviously the wider you go the easier it is to get it back to the back of your neck as you guys know I'm a huge advocate of full range of motion especially after reading that Eric Helm study so taking a wider grip I use do my pointer fingers on the rings and I get it right to touch my neck and then just fire straight up from there and I treat it just like a like a spirit bomb like an overhead press keeping my legs tight core tight everything it's like a backward spirit bomb Next exercise is one of my favorite machine bench exercises. Now what you do is you take the flat hammer strength the bench press, you drop the seat all the way to the bottom. Uh, so all the way to the bottom. And what I do is I just kind of grab like shoulder width on it and really just focus on throw just focus on the contraction in the upper chest. So that's the good thing about machines. Machines, you don't have to worry about stabilizing the weight and everything. You can just focus on that contraction. So that's what I'm doing here. Make sure you got that double chin going. Double chin action. Push that chest out.
this is a box spring <sighs> I'm trying to literally push my chest like to my throat man and just focusing on that contraction all the way up here if you don't want bitch tits grow that upper chest Next exercise, we're doing these tricep dip machines. Now, for me, when it comes to triceps, I'm super picky because of my triceps had nice when I got when I was younger. And also just like, just how my body is. Like I used to close grip bench press a lot before and now I don't because it messes with my shoulders. And yes, I could work on my forearm, but I'd rather just not do the movement. I, it's not my favorite movement. And that's what a lot of you guys need to understand is that you guys don't have to do every exercise out under the sun just because one person says it's good. Just find the select exercises that work for you and get fucking good and fucking strong at them and you will grow. Like my workouts, from your standpoint, the viewer standpoint, it must be flipping boring because I always do the same stuff. Because I do what works for me. And just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So I like this tricep dip machine, but you might like regular dip. Yeah, still watching Saran's cousin getting in a beef with the net. <laughs> but, Anyways, next exercise. Saiyan shoulders superset. You guys already know this exercise. I do it all the damn time. This is, yeah, final form freeze it out. It's actually an exercise you could probably do like every day if you really wanted to. Just because it's real easy on your joints. And shoulders are just a fast recovery muscle. So one benefit I realized that um, cables have over free weights is the constant tension. So you want to make sure you utilize the constant tension when you use the cables by controlling it more on the way down.
set with rope. With down. With the uh, BWC rope. Have to think about that for a sec. Push through the burn. I feel like when it burns so much, your triceps are going numb with pain. Last set. We haven't been getting zero rest time. Triceps are cooked. I'm gonna push through. It's actually the best feeling in the world right now. Oh, when I just feel dead. But you keep pushing through. Kind of sadistic. But no better feeling in the world. Just pushing your body. And we out this bitch.